What's going on everyone? This is David with A Tech. I have a question for you all. Have you ever had a mechanical home button slash navigation keys that are not responding? Uh, you tried everything you can think of and it's not doing what you want it to do. Doing something simple as a navigating your phone's interface becomes a tedious chore. And in this situation, a lot of people on Android devices are using a lot of root mods to enable the Android software navigation bar to solve their problem. But I also know that a lot of people out there are not wanting to root their device to make this happen. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that without root. Today's application is called Virtual Soft Keys and it does not require root whatsoever. Now in my intro video, I did mention that a lot of people out there that are having issues with their uh, soft keys, stock soft keys that are not working correctly and a lot of them out there are using uh, root mods in order to get this feature. But this application does not require root and it does the exact same thing. So the good thing about this application is it's fairly new. It has a 4.2 rating and has 10,000 downloads. I went ahead and did some reviews on it and it has a lot of more positive feedback than negative feedback. Okay, so you at least know it's legitimate. So once you go ahead and you download this application, go ahead and just open it up and you're gonna come to this configuration department here. And there isn't much to mess around with. Um, and that's a good thing. So if you pay attention really closely on the bottom of the left hand side, right underneath where it says rotate hidden. And if you can see this little circle that I'm doing with my uh, desktop, I'm going to go about right over here. And this is where that red bar is at. Now, what you want to do is go where it says gesture height. And if you slide the bar to the middle, going towards the right hand side, you can see that the bar is rising up. So I'm going to go ahead and just swipe it all the way down to the right hand side so the height of this red bar will be able to get your gesture correctly. On the gesture width, you want to go ahead and just either slide it into the middle or you can slide it to the right and have it filled in completely. Now the gesture position is not going to respond to you and the reason for that is because hypothetically I'm going to show you is if let's say for example your gesture width and your height are selected other places like so as you notice the gesture position has repositioned itself so what I'm gonna do is leave it right there now if you individuals out there that have a stylus with your device that came with your device they have a feature here called stylus mode and if you select the stylus mode and if your device supports this this will work with your device as well so if you have a stylus mode go ahead and check it into this box right here i do not so i'm gonna leave it off now this up here basically what it means is to activate the home keys you have to swipe up on your uh, device in order to have the soft keys um, up here now you can have it where it's permanently on or you can have it shut off within one, three, or five seconds. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just do for one second. Now the smart hidden is an experimental, and it will auto hide permanently when soft key bar when keyboard open. It's experimental function. Close it. You have any problems? So if you want to go ahead and select the smart hidden, you can. If not, you can leave it off. It's not necessary. Um, rotate hidden after screen rotates the soft key bar will be hidden so if you want that feature to enable that you go ahead and hit enable but that's pretty much all when it comes to the settings in general so there's not a lot there to mess around with it's really simple so once you get done doing that go ahead and hit the home key and as you can see right now these home keys that you're looking at are my stock okay these are not virtual soft keys this is not the app this is my stock okay 
So after you get done doing the settings, you want to go ahead and just swipe up near where the home key should be positioned at. And as you can see, they appeared on your desktop. So these keys work exactly like stock. They do what you want them to do. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit the uh, box on the right. And as you can see that my windows that I've been to are, are present and I'm gonna go ahead and hit my home keys my custom home keys and as you can see it disappeared it's no longer there so if we were to go back into the settings and we go to where it says disappear I'm gonna go ahead and just hit permanent and I'm gonna go out of there click out of here and I'm gonna go ahead and swipe up there you go so now it's not gonna turn off it's gonna leave itself there permanently and it's not gonna go away within seconds. So I think this is a really cool app. Um, I did, like I said, I did find it. It's fairly new. Um, it's got a good, uh, it's got a lot of good reviews on this. So um, if you guys are interested in this application, I will leave a link in the description box. Um, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. Other than that, I will see you guys on Friday on my next video. Peace.